I used to I lived there for 12 years. When dementia patients like 65-year-old Janice Elliott come to Dr. Denise Erton Lyons, concerns go beyond memory loss. Well, the disorientation and the confusion and, and then, of course, the fear. There's an element of fear. Unfortunately, Erton Lyons says the causes of dementia and Alzheimer's disease are still unclear. It's thought that plaques in the brain cause Alzheimer's, but Erton Lyons says they don't affect everyone the same way. Some people have the plaques, but no disease. They um, are somehow resistant to um, brain cell damage and loss of brain cells that has usually been attributed to the presence of these plaques. So she and her colleagues studied the brains of deceased people with these brain plaques, including many who stayed mentally sharp well into their 90s. She reported to the American Academy of Neurology that the sharp seniors had bigger brains. In particular, they had a larger hippocampus, the brain region associated with memory. Individuals who died with sharp minds but had lots of um, tangles and plaques in their brains um, seemed to be resistant to the effects of the plaques and tangles and to dementia because they had larger brains. Erton Lyons says it's not necessarily the size of the brain you're born with that matters. Maintaining brain size into old age may be more important, and genetics may also play a role. I'm Brad Closa.